Alright lads, so here we are in Canada for another F1 2014 gameplay. Uh, today we'll be driving as the McLaren as it's been uh, heavily requested and I've been really wanting to drive this car for a very long time. So here we are in Canada. We're going to do qualifying today. So we're going to see uh, what this McLaren can do uh, in terms of its one lap pace. But so far we're in P7 at the moment. I believe we're actually out qualified by our teammate uh, Kevin Magnussen at the moment. But I'm just sort of building my pace trying to gain some confidence and as you can see mounting the curve there at the second part of the final chicane and uh, that corner is definitely harder to to take this year I, I don't know maybe it's a little bit tighter maybe the curbs are just that little bit harder to negotiate I'm not too sure but either way uh, coming through for our fifth lap and we've ended up in fourth place and I believe we weren't able to improve after that so we qualified in fourth place for the race now we're cutting to the pre-race uh, uh, garage. Our race strategy is a two-stop option prime option that may switch to a prime at the end of the race depending on the tire wear. But look at that, the chance of rain is 77%. So it looks like the dry race strategy won't matter too much. We're going to move the front wing down to 3-1 to get that better straight line speed over the AI. Uh, the rest of the setup is pretty much the same as what you've seen in some of my other videos. So we'll just go with that but here we are for the Canadian Grand Prix let's go to the race Alright, so here we are in Canada, driving a McLaren. This could be the dress rehearsal for our career mode, driving as McLaren possibly, but away we go here in Canada. Looks like the start hasn't been as good as Vettel. Looks like Alonso might pass is coming into Turn 1. Ricardo has actually jumped Alonso as well, so Ricardo getting off to a fantastic start. We're going to try and hold it around the outside, which turns to the inside for Turn 2 now. We're up into P2, uh, P3 rather. As we can see, the Mercedes just streaking away already with this race. We probably won't see those guys for the rest of the race. As Hamilton going very slowly through the chicane there. I'm not too sure what he was doing there. Possibly managing some kind of problem. I'm not too sure. It remains to be seen what the AI can do in terms of um, mechanical failures. We might see that more in career mode. But cutting to lap 4, we've actually gone purple. And we might go the inside of Hamilton into turn 1. We weren't quite, quite close enough. He's um, uh, taking the first corner with a bit of vigor and uh, much later under brakes than what I was. But setting the fastest start, that's pretty encouraging as we head on to the very next lap. We can see we're in the slipstream of Hamilton once again. We might go up the inside into turn one and we get the move done this time, do we? Hamilton holding around the outside. That is something I've not seen from the AI ever. So the AI looking very promising in some racing scenarios so far in F1 2014. They still... Uh, a little bit glitchy in terms of um, overtaking up the inside in the tight corners. That's still an issue for the AI, but hopefully that is fixed for the full game when it comes out in a few weeks' time. But now Hamilton trying to hold it around the outside into the final chicane. We break later than him, and we take back second place. Team Radio. Like there might be a bit of rain in the next couple of minutes. All right, so we've got rain coming down in the next few minutes. That 77% chance of rain that we spoke of is happening pretty much right now we can see Hamilton trying to pass us round the outside into the final chicane the tire wear has meant we've uh, lost a bit of our uh, mechanical grip and now Hamilton is now going to bolt away pretty much we can see that on lap 18 now the rain is now starting to come down I've been trying to just hold out on that pit first pit stop because I'm going to go straight to intermediate tires and it looks like on lap 19 I might be coming into the pits at the end of this lap as I've said in previous videos it seems like the rain affects uh, the cars and the tyres are much quicker this year because the tyre temperatures are naturally much lower than on F1 2013. So the um, so the tolerances for the, the temperatures are much lower. So if the track starts to lose temperature and the rain starts to fall down, then you've got to switch to intermediates almost straight away. So that's in a way a lot more realistic uh, this year. We can see Massa making it for his pit stop as well. So I think... I'm amongst the first cars to put on the intermediate tyres. This might provide a bit of a benefit here, and uh, we might be able to gain a little bit of time here. But saying that, we need to be very careful 
on this opening or outlap on intermediate tyres because this is where you can lose pretty much all your time and pretty much wreck your race. But cutting to the very next lap, we can see the AI responding to what we're doing. They uh, pretty much feel the same way about the conditions. They're coming in for their intermediate tyres. We get back up into P3. Hamilton has also made his stoppers already, so we haven't really lost anything in terms of uh, positions. We've probably lost a slight bit of time to Vettel behind. As you can see, he's right behind us now, so that is a little bit worrying, but now cutting about 10 laps later, we're running with cockpit cam just for a little bit, just to try and see what it's like. We've actually overshot that middle sector chicane, and Alonso didn't need any second invitation. He goes clean around the outside and into the podium position so far, and I actually don't think I'll be able to stick with him uh, unless I can't get him back past on this back straight. It seems like, once again in the wet, I just don't have the pace to match the AI. I have a theory that the AI are all running assists, like traction control, and that's probably making a massive, massive difference in this race. As you can see, lap 37, we're being lapped by the race leader, Nico Rosberg, and that is just plain embarrassing. That was really painful to have him, to have to let him uh, go through for the lead of this race, but that's unfortunate. There's only, what, three cars on the lead lap now? As lap 38, we have a safety car. But the weird thing is about this safety car is nobody retired. Before the safety car came out, there was 19 runners in the Grand Prix, and there's still 19 runners in the Grand Prix, so that was a little bit weird. Not too sure if that's a glitch, or if there was maybe even debris on the racing line, and they had to clear that up. That's, I'm not too sure about that, but um, in terms of the strategy now, the strategy may change. I've decided to stay out on intermediate tyres because I've heard reports, as we can see, Team Looking Radio. The radar, it looks like the weather is going to get worse. Heavy rain in around 10 minutes. Yeah, we got the warning just before the safety car came out that the, the rain was going to get even, even heavier. So there's no point in stopping for a new set of inters when my current set aren't really that bad at the moment. So I thought I'd stick it out and then go onto the wet tyres a little bit later. I did, also didn't want to lose track position because I didn't think I'd get it back. I just don't have the, the pace in the rain. My setup really isn't optimised for that and I'm not too used to, to this game yet to really... Uh, take the fight to the AI just yet, but in saying that we're getting ready for a restart uh, Rosberg is just slowing up the pack and I'm trying to stay with him I'm gonna try and get that lap back if I can but look at that away straight away And I just lost the rear end and, and Rosberg it's already pulling away. He's got like a three second lead already That's just ridiculous the, the Mercedes are both OP in both the wet and the dry We get caught on a curb there on the uh, traction zone and that uh, allows uh, Valtteri Bottas to get back through. We're going to use the slipstream to get back past here coming into the final chicane. Magnussen might follow him through as well. He does. So it's a McLaren 4-5 at the moment and I might just let him through because uh, I just don't have the pace to stay with him. We'll have to wait and see on that one though. But cutting to lap 44 we can see. I think that's Lewis Hamilton is unlapping himself or he's lapping me rather. No, it's my teammate Magnussen. He's trying to pass me up the inside into the middle sector chicane. And so we maintain fourth place for now. One thing I've noticed, though, is that some of the curves on this track have been reprofiled. Like the middle sector chicane, you'll notice it as we come through now. We've got Ricardo going up the inside. We're going to try and take some slipstream, and he backs out of it, and we take P4 again. But we got a penalty. We got we got a penalty for that? I didn't even, I didn't even do anything. I didn't make contact. I don't understand what that was for. We let Magnussen through because I don't want to hold him up. We're going to come into the pits for a drive-through on this lap. I actually have no idea what happened. As you can see on the replay, trying to take Ricardo's slipstream. We go to the outside and then Ricardo backs out of it. And then we get a penalty. I have absolutely no idea what that was for. But uh, either way, we're coming into the pits for our uh, drive-through now. And uh, hopefully we don't lose too much time. I'm hoping that there's a fairly big... Uh, spread in terms of the cars behind us so we might not lose too much time hopefully still in the points that's my aim and it looks like we're coming into the pits for a set of wet tires so this was probably my scheduled lap to come in for a new set of inters but because I selected wets luckily I did select wets it put me on those tires so um, either way we're getting lapped now by Fernando Alonso who was in third and uh, now I'm trying to take some of his slipstream go to the outside like we did to Ricardo and we've got another penalty are you actually serious? I have no idea what's going on. It says I caused a collision, even though I didn't even touch him at all. We're going to come in and serve our drive-through penalty. And as you can see on the top left-hand corner of your screen, 
We're going to show the, the drive-through penalty we're serving on the very next lap, just to get that out of the way, to show you that we're doing both drive-throughs uh, in two-lap succession here. And uh, this has completely screwed us out of a points finish. We were in the podium positions, were we? No, we were in fourth. And uh, this has completely uh, knocked us out of the running in this race. We go around the outside of uh, Fernando... That's not Fernando Alonso, that's Pastor Maldonado, rather. And a fairly decent move, I must say, uh, around the outside. Very hard to get some traction around there. And uh, we got the move done. Back into the points now with only 16 laps to go. And I don't think too much happened in the race after that. As you can see, lap 69, we got lapped by Nico Rosberg very early on in the race. And uh, we moved up into ninth as someone else retired uh, somewhere along the way. But uh, either way, fairly interesting race. The, the wet really didn't help us in terms of pace. And then the, just to top it all off, the two penalties really knocked us out of a really good position there. But P9 is still a fairly good result when you consider we were a lot slower in the rain and we got those well penalties. Done. Good drive. That's ninth place. Yep. Uh, my engineer says good drive even though my teammate had got a podium. So somebody retired, I believe Fernando Alonso must have retired somewhere near the end of the race. That promoted us up, uh, promoted us up into ninth. And only a few cars on the lead lap. I think it was only the two Mercedes finished on the lead lap. That was the, the kind of stranglehold they had over us in this race. But that's been this video for today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you have any suggestions as to what other 100% races I should do in the future, then let me know. Also, if you're new to the channel, then subscribe if you want to see more F1 2014 videos in the future. But that's been this video for today. Until my next one, I'll see you next time.